Hi, my name is Guy Wallace, and in this PAC video short, we're going to discuss MCD planning, modular curriculum development, the planning of that kind of a project within the PAC processes for training and development. PAC is an acronym. It stands for Performance-Based, Accelerated, Customer and Stakeholder-Driven Training and Development of Any Blend. The modular curriculum development projects follow a six-phase approach. This is the equivalent of ADDI with a couple of exceptions and changes. On the front end, there's project planning and kickoff. Then we move into analysis. Then the design is conducted. After that, development and acquisition of content happens so that it can be pilot tested and then post-pilot any revisions necessary are made and then the content is released for ongoing deployment or ongoing acquisition. The outputs are all pre-prescribed and the amount of time that's typical for the various roles in a PAC project including the roles of the project steering team members, the analysis team members, and the design team members is pretty easy to estimate. However, the amount of time necessary for the folks on the development team varies widely because we don't know how much is to be produced. Is it two hours of content, two days of content, two weeks worth of content, two months worth of content, etc. That's a variance. Things are different in an MCD project if it follows on the heels of a curriculum architecture design effort. The analysis data and the design data from a curriculum architecture design project are carried forward into an MCD effort. That's the reason that sometimes in an MCD effort, the phases of analysis and design can be combined because there's a lot of work that's already been done and will be leveraged and built upon in the MCD effort. Implementation planning in phase four of CAD overlaps mightily with the project planning and kickoff of an MCD effort. But again, it depends on what level of details was done in project planning in order to price going forward in phase four of CAD. In the first phase of an MCD project, project planning and kickoff, there is the traditional four sub-phases. Prepare for it, followed by do it, followed by review it, followed by clean it up and move on. In the analysis phase of an MCD effort, there is the same four sub-phases. Prepare for it, do it, review it, clean it up and move on. In the design phase, the same thing. Preparation is done before design effort, the design team meeting typically, but not always. Then doing the design, and then reviewing the design, and then taking the feedback from the review and cleaning up the design and moving forward into the next phase, which is the development phase. There, there's preparing for it, doing it, the actual development and or acquisition, the build and or buy. Then there's the development and alpha testing that happens from the content, which is the review process. In this phase, there is no gate review meeting. The developers are empowered to test out the content that they have built or bought to make sure that it's worthy and going to be successful in the pilot testing efforts of the next phase. In that next phase, there are five sub-phases. Phase five of MCD has five sub-phases. There's the pre-pilot preparation, there's the actual pilot deployment, and then there's an extra step where all the revision recommendations are produced based on all the evaluation data and feedback gathered during the pilot test session. Then we're ready to move on to the review it. Reviewing the results of the pilot testing and reviewing specifically with the project steering team the revision recommendations. The pilot steering team takes all of that in and helps us convert 
the pilot revision recommendations to revision specifications. That's the difference. Recommendations versus specifications. The specifications are then all cleaned up in 5.5 and getting ready to transition to the next phase, the revision and release phase, which the materials are revised, then they're released, lessons learned are documented and distributed as appropriate or put into the uh, file cabinet electronically or otherwise. Project data is compiled and then archived as appropriate. I've been practicing, publishing, and presenting on these methods since 1982. My recent book, Six Pack, covers all of this in great detail.